Many people believe everything that goes on in the world we know today is controlled by a hidden few, a set of powerful people who call all the shots behind the scenes. You may have heard that in 2004, both candidates for the seat at the White House were members of Skulls and Bones, Yale University's secret society, a society said to be made up of affluent people who rose to powerful positions, riding on the back of the society's influence. While that is a remarkable power move, the Brotherhood of Skulls and Bones is just a little boy playing house compared to some of the mysterious elites that occupy almost every seat of power in the world. From the government halls to the boardrooms of Wall Street, they control it all. These are the elites who secretly rule the world, number one Rothschild family. If you have heard the name, and especially the conspiracy theories, then you probably know that this elite family has done it all, from controlling every nation's central bank to even controlling the weather. It does sound absurd that a family could be playing God in controlling the weather, but with an insane combined net worth estimated to be above $350 billion to the Rothschilds, anything is possible. Who exactly are these shadow rulers, you might ask? Well, they are not gods, not aliens, and not psychomutants either. The Rothschilds are insanely rich international bankers. They came into wealth and power in the 18th century, when Meyer Amschel Rothschild built his bank and joined the global banking industry. He placed his five sons in key financial capitals in Europe, and soon they rose to great heights of wealth and power. So much so that the family was awarded nobility by the Austrian government. And that was how the dynasty of the Rothschild began. The family of bankers took an opportunity during economic growth to diversify their earnings. They ventured into the trade of oil and metals and soon became powerful enough to rival countries. At the peak of the Rothschild's power, they were so rich that they were loaning billions to countries without a worry. They once loaned the Bank of England enough money to save them from a crisis and helped France get back on its feet after its defeat by Prussia. There is no doubt that the Rothschild family is extremely wealthy and influential, but they are equally shrouded in mystery, which gives the conspiracy theorists a lot to talk about. While there is no way to know for sure if this family of bankers were responsible for the assassination of JFK or the decisions made on Wall Street, some of the conspiracies are interesting, noting just how mysterious the Rothschilds are. A woman who claimed to know the deep secrets of the family made known her intention to write a tell-all book. Unfortunately, she abandoned it, saying it was relatively easy to spot the lies. But it proved impossible to find out the truth. Number two, BlackRock Inc. While there are very powerful companies we know all over the world, like Apple and Microsoft, there's a very big chance you know nothing about the company BlackRock. This is a company that owns the world. They manage assets worth over an estimated $10 trillion, the largest amount of assets in the world. BlackRock is a risk management company that controls the funds of millions of ordinary people. The multinational corporation is based in New York City and is so large that it operates globally with almost 100 offices in every major country and clients from every part of the world. The Shadow Company was founded in 1988 by Larry Fink. And there must have been a soul sold to the devil somewhere because in no time it grew to an insane height and was already managing assets worth billions. BlackRock Ince grew fast and expanded even faster with a ton of business acquisitions and assets. They were powerful enough that the United States government had to seek them out for aid to resolve been known to hire many former government officials to join its staff. Today, BlackRock is larger than any other financial institution, even the largest banks in the world. The company is always counted among the top three shareholders in every major oil company and coal producer, and they have countless other investments worldwide. With the several trillion dollars worth of assets they control, BlackRock Inc. engages in the buying and selling of stocks and bonds. They advise central banks, insurance companies, state funds, pension funds, state funds, pension funds, and effectively every top dog in the financial world. There is nothing in the financial world that this elite shadow company does not control. And as they say, you control the money, you control the world. Number three, the House of Windsor. In the days of old, kingdoms of people were ruled by kings and queens. The monarchs were simply born to rule. If you had royal blood, you had control. Kings and queens may be a thing of the past, as the monarchy system has made way for a more modern government. But there are some royal families who never fully relinquished their rights to rule the world. The Windsor family is one of the more popular royal families still ruling today in Europe. And they are certainly the most influential group of royals in the world. Just in case you were wondering, King George V changed the family's historic German name of Saxco Bergatha to a British name. The Windsor family has, over the many long years, stretched out an influence that spreads not just over all of Europe, but the world beyond. 
So much so that the late Queen Elizabeth had familial ties with most monarchs in the continent. The Windsors not only rule over a country with a GDP of $3.1 trillion, hmm, but they also rule over countless other major European countries. That is why they are extremely powerful. Prince William and Kate Middleton's kids, Prince George and Sister Charlotte, were both worth $7 billion together, and that is before they turned 10 years of age. The Windsor family is estimated to be worth over $25 trillion, and with the wealth they have, their influence has been pushed past England's borders and the entirety of Europe, reaching every continent on Earth. Queen Elizabeth, before her death, technically did own one-sixth of the Earth's land. Add the fact that she was the head of state of 16 countries, and we can see that the House of Windsor owns and controls a big part of the Earth. And that is just what we know of number four, Coke Industries. Oil money has made a lot of people and nations wealthy and influential. We now have oil barons and Arab oil wealth, but you haven't seen anything like Coke Industries run by the Coach family. This multinational conglomerate corporation has accumulated so much oil and generational wealth that they currently control both the economical and political scene of the country. The rise of Coke Industries to power is tied to the wealth and influence of the Coke family, the single dynasty of oil billionaires that now seemingly controls so many dealings in the world. The company was founded in 1940 with a name you wouldn't really call Elite, the Wood River Oil and Refining Company. Fortunately, the name was short-lived and changed to the family's name, Coke. The company is now the second largest privately owned company in the world that makes an annual revenue of $115 billion. Coke Industries has so many companies and subsidiaries that they effectively have a hand in everything from distributing paper to electronics, real estate, and even deals with the National Guard. The company, without a doubt, does want to do it all. But a particular favorite thing to do for the Cokes is to pull the strings in politics. Apparently, you do not need to win elections or throw massive campaigns to get into politics. You just need as much wealth and power as the elite family. Number five, Morgan family. This American dynasty of bankers has been prominent since the 19th century, and they have been amassing an immense fortune and an influence that has spread all over the world. The rise of the Morgan family began with the de facto leader, John Pierpont Morgan, or J.P. Morgan, when he started to buy railroads and companies. The Morgan banking dynasty didn't earn their first billion with banking alone. He allied himself with the president of Carnegie Steel in the steel industry and bought the company for about 480 million widgen, which was at that time way more than the U.S. government's entire budget at the turn of the century. With his lead, the family became extremely successful and with the clever method of creating monopolies by buying out companies, they started controlling most of the major industries in America. JP, Morgan swept through the financial world and became one of the most famous bankers in the world. And with that to rely on, the Morgan family grew in influence. Being able to sit on the board of directors for 48 different companies gave them the capability to move the political and economic standing however they wanted. To an extent, the head of the Morgan family would regularly meet with some of the most powerful men in society and soon created his own club called the Metropolitan Club, which had all sorts of powerful members, including more than a few of the world's billionaires. Today, the family owns the largest bank in the United States, with assets worth over $3.7 trillion and dozens of banks under it. The Morgans also control the United States gold supply and basically the economy of one of the biggest countries in the world. Number six, the Rockefellers. This is a family that is one of the richest and most well-known dynasties in the world. And with the influence they have on nations' economies, they hold power in politics, influence environmental protection, and even own some of the most expensive real estate in the world. The industrial, political, and banking family rose to power with the American petroleum industry in the 19th century. John Davison Rockefeller, yes sir, co-founded the Standard Oil Company in 1870, a company that would become the largest oil refiner in the world. The Rockefellers at one point controlled roughly 90s of all the oil in the United States. It was so much that in 1911, the Supreme Court had to rule the monopoly illegal. With such wealth, it is certain that the Rockefellers became the focus of countless conspiracy theories, that the elite family wants to replace the world's government with a secret totalitarian authority that leaves them in charge. While we may not have much evidence of that being the case, the family has been known to use their fortune to affect public change and occupy key political positions. There may very well be a price to pay to control the world, and if there is such a price, we can be sure that the Rockefellers can afford it. So what do you think about these families? Let us know in the comments section, and if you enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. World Wealthy 
Click the video cards on your screen to keep you watching more videos like this. Thanks for watching.